nothing like being unprepared. Hello Bournemouth fans, it's been confirmed. What felt like forever, the takeover is complete. Bill Foley is the new owner of AFC Bournemouth and we'll thank Max at the end of this video. Just a short reaction from me really. There'll be more debates and conversations to be had. We'll get more of the team thoughts later down the road. But as it was released, literally out of the blue, that Bill Foley will be the new owner. It's been ratified by the Premier League. And I think this is a really, really positive time for AFC Bournemouth. This is a real opportunity for the club to go to the next stage, the stage we've always wanted when we had five years in the Premier League, build on the infrastructure, potentially a new stadium in the future, squad improvements without maybe stretching us financially on loans. Maybe we can do more business and, and build the squad over time, but be more secure. Fan reactions, fan entertainment, trying to build on what Max has already done. That's what Bill Foley's talking about. I'll put a link down below in the description because the club have released lots of statements, a letter to the fans from Bill Foley, and I've had a quick scan of that, and he's spoken about building on the successes that of the foundations that Max has laid and improving that. We've also got investment within the Bill Foley deal of Michael B. Jordan, the actor, I mean, where does that take us? Does that enhance us as a club? Does that put us even more on the map than we were the first time? Because we reached out to the world when we got promoted to the Premier League. And this is a long journey. It's not going to happen overnight. I am personally and have been all along quite excited about it. I understand there'll be some fans that are cautious and a bit nervous. I think that's justified. I think it's fair that the proof will be in the pudding you know, deliver on a training ground that improves our category status and helps us be more competitive with keeping academy players, bringing in more academy players, the next Jaden Anthony, the next Jordan Zamora, deliver on that. What do you do? Expand Dean Court, do something with Dean Court, can you buy out, structure Dean, do you build a new stadium? What happens there? Delivering on the squad, I think is gonna be instant. I'm going to drop some cards on the top of the screen on this video because we, me and myself, John, we did a video about keeping players that are running out of contract today with Jefferson Lerma, Jordan Zamora, Jaden Anthony. I think Jack Stacey's in there as well, you know, and what players can we bring in? Because ultimately, we've got to hit the ground running. We've got to pick up points. We've got to stay in the Premier League. We can't have this buzz and this new ownership that offers so much and fall back into the championship. So priority one will be remaining in the Premier League, performing well, enhancing the squad where we need to this January, stay in the Premier League. Then we build on that. And outside of the stuff that's happening on the field, that training ground, I think, will just go up. I think it will just get done to what it needs to be done at to change the category status. Stadium and stuff like that will will be later down the road. But... I've spoken to podcasters and media people from Las Vegas who know Bill Foley well as a person, as a businessman, and they're saying he's ruthless, he's a winner, he he won't hang back, he will get on with the job in hand. He probably already was starting the process before it was ratified. He'll be getting right on to work, you know. He's 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 purchased a house down here in Sandbanks, I think, you know. I think he'll be more visual than Max was. He's going to have Jeff kept at the club and have a different role. Jeff Mostyn. But we're going to see him against Crystal Palace early doors at home. We'll see the new owner. And I think he'll be very busy. He'll be getting down to work in what needs to be tweaked. Can we get a ticketing system that works and doesn't crash? They all work hard. I'm not denying that. But I've always wanted a little bit more respect for our club speaking for myself I've always want us to be respected across the country a little bit more and I think this offers a real opportunity proof will be in the pudding if he delivers but he's putting it on paper he's sending a letter to us the fans telling us that he's going to get down to work and he's going to deliver on infrastructure squad improvements where required and build on the foundations that Max has laid as I said tell me how you're feeling though this is very raw we will get more 
conversations going with the Cherries Red Army team and we'll see how they're feeling. But I want to know how you're feeling. Stick them in the comments. Tell us if you're happy, concerns you might have. And I think we have to respect anyone who is a little bit nervous. But we may need to put another seatbelt on. This is, this is potentially us playing with the elite down the road. It might be a pipe dream right now, but we might be living with the top 10 in three, four, five years time. We might have a lovely complex and stadium that's going to live with a lot of football teams in the Premier League. And that cannot be denied or it can't be, you can't put eyes up against it. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so much potential there. And I think, I think Max took us to the limit and I love Max. I think everyone does. What he's done has been absolutely fantastic. But how high is this ceiling now? That's the big question. If you're new to the channel and you've just found us and you might be from Las Vegas and you're seeing what's going on, by the way, it's football, not soccer. It's football. This is Cherry's Red Army. Please subscribe. Also hit the like button. And as I said, get your comments down below. I'll finish this very short reaction by saying welcome to the Cherries, Bill Foley. I'm sure you'll enjoy the ride as much as hopefully we will. And if you do deliver on what you're saying, then I think it's only ever going to be a positive outcome. There might be some give and take from the fans further down the road, but if we get a new stadium, new training ground, and a, and a squad that's highly competitive, then I, I, I'd be happy, I think, to, to accept that. And any bumps in the road, there might be. For Max... Thank you for the journey. Never thought that we'd be playing football in the Premier League. Thank you for the magical days, nights you gave us at Dean Court, Bolton, Valley, winning the championship at Charlton, some nights in the Premier League that we beat some top football teams, 4-3 against Liverpool. You, you set the foundations, you back the cherries, you back the manager and you continue to back us even when we got relegated and we're back in the top flight. And I think you've given us a real opportunity to be at some really dizzy heights in the future, if all goes to plan. Cheers, Max. Do get your thoughts in below. Tim Pot, I raise you a billionaire. Good old little old Bournemouth. Turn it up the stage.